Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the differences of the Italian switchblade in its automatic knife configuration and in the lockback variation. The switchblade, the automatic knife variation that is originally made is in many areas banned or regulated uh, back then in Switzerland those were banned as well. The lockback variation is a non-automatic variation that is in need of both hands to be opened and closed so therefore the limitation of the law of the banning did not apply to. So we're gonna have a look on those two knives here uh, to make it more easy the bigger one black one is a lockback variation we see that and the uh, red the smaller variation is the switchblade as we look first at the function the switchblade variation has the button here so as you want to open it up you simply press that the knife gonna open and that is what some of the politicians are scared about that you have a, a knife that opens we are uh, using a spring instead of your hand completely nonsense and then we have the back lock variation this is a two-hand operation there is no button you have the nail nick here you not even have a thumb stew to one hand open it so basically you need both hands you grab the nail nick here and then you open the knife and then you can use it for closing you need to press that part here in all the way that will lift the locking mechanism and you can close it back up so that's the function now optically uh, we see firsthand if it's a switch blade or not uh, first we have the button in the middle uh, that is the the main uh, feature of course uh, with the lock back variation we have just a solid scale uh, the, the color of the scale or the, the plastic or wood or whatever material they use doesn't matter it's just a technical feature that button here makes it a switch blade some have the sliding safety uh, some not but that button here is the main feature so that is missing and with uh, the second feature that we see is that part here that buckle here uh, we have it flat all the way flat on the switch bait uh, variation while the uh, the manual uh, two-hand opening folding variation the lock back has here that uh, hump that stand over the main uh, back spring there so that you see first hand on the front part on the other side uh, there you don't see that much other than the hump of course still uh, some Variation of the switchblade variation has the nail nick, some not, so that is not a feature that you can go on. Uh, many times they use the same blade for both styles of, of uh, knives, and uh, uh, basically, the only difference on the blade uh, they come in different shapes and different style of the, the blade, but what is technically important is that hole here. So, so on the manual variation you don't have a hole, uh, on the switch blade you have a hole. Sometimes the hole is not going all the way through, it's just the dimple that is needed in conjunction with the, with the button here that the blade locks inside the handle. So if it doesn't have the hole or at least the dimple here like this one, as we see on the on the other side there is no dimple no nothing and here on that example the the hole goes all the way through it is uh, not 
possible for use as a switch blade in this configuration there without the hole. Now for uh, the difference in the parts. As we look inside of course we see in the switch blade variation we have a spring inside uh, that we have in the lockback variation uh, spring two, but it's a complete different design. Complete different spring, complete different design. Uh, basically the, the main uh, part in the back, we have here that spring part that goes all the way and form the backspace. That is a complete different design between the, the switch blade, the automatic one and the manual variation. Uh, this part here goes only to here, form that hump and then we have a separate uh, backspacer that holds that spring for the lock back action in place there. So uh, there is not too many parts that can be used on a each model it, it has some differences and and a uh, complete different uh, construction uh, also a detail uh, the part here that guard part usually by the switch blade you can press that so that that lifts the locking part so you can unlock the the blade there that one is usually fixed in a fixed position. You can't move that on the lock plate, on the lock back uh, variation because you're simply gonna gonna press in here on that hump to uh, lift the locking mechanism that you then can unlock it. So we see it's a completely different construction. The modification is possible uh, that you if you have a, a lock back variation if you want to alter that to switch plate that would be possible but it's not easy uh, there are quite some parts uh, inside the under the handle in the locking in the button with the locking for the spring even if you leave out the safety the sliding safety that is not that much of a deal uh, there is still some some uh, parts that are connected or welded on with the main liner, the, the top liner that we have here. So that is a, a different uh, construction altogether compared to the manual variation there. So that is serious work needed uh, to, to uh, alter the knife. And I, I would say it's not worth it, uh, especially not in USA where you can buy online the switch blade variation in most areas legally you can even can get a, a switch blade uh, kit in the italian style there is a video on my swiss bianco youtube channel as well that show there a bit more details how the the kit uh, italian style kit uh, looks and uh, that is for sure uh, more interesting also to learn how the the basic or classic Italian style switch blade works. Yeah, so each one has its uh, proposes. If you live in an area where that is banned, uh, where you can't have the switch blades, I suggest just leaving there. Go away, go in an area that it is legal and enjoy your life like I did. If you're not gonna, gonna leave, then if you wanna have a uh, classic Italian style go with the lock back variation that gives the, the fit and the feel uh, pretty much of a original even as it won't spring out but you can cut with it you can uh, carry it you can get the feeling in your hand pretty much like a, a regular uh, regular uh, Italian automatic or switch blade the knives come in different sizes of course that size that I did grab here for that video that doesn't matter that is just uh, the basic construction details that I did want to point out so that much about the classic Italian switchblade variation compared to the 
a bit uh, newer style lockback variation. <laughs> 